Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we will see how we can create a virtual machine with a new VHDX and then we will generalize the machine and will create a VM2 with the existing VHDX. This way you can create multiple virtual machine in your Hyper-V environment with different SIDs. Let's go to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server. If we see the properties of our computer, we have a 16 gigs of RAM and the operating system is Windows Server 2019 and Hyper-V is installed on it. If we go and see the Hyper-V, we have three machines already there and they are in the off state. And we have this commanded like new VM name, test VM, memory, boot device from the new VHD and this is the path for the VHD and the generation is one and connected to the virtual manager switch we have created in the Hyper-V so if we go to the D drive I will create a new folder and I will rename it as a VM1 and I will keep my virtual machine inside this so we can just copy the path that is D VM1 and I will change this to like VM1 folder and the path is D drive vm1 folder and the test.vhdx and i will change the memory startup byte to the 4gb and also i will rename the test machine as a vm1 and if you see this switch file server virtual switch i have created that switch already in our hyper-v if we go to the hyper-v virtual switch manager you can see this file server virtual switch is present there so I will connect my virtual machine to this switch. So we have formatted our commandlet. So let me copy this commandlet and let's try to open the PowerShell and I will paste this command to the PowerShell. Right now there are only three machine and let me hit enter. It is creating the machine. It is in the off state and version is 9.0. So let's see the machine here. You can see the VM1 is created and it is in off state. If we go to the setting inside the memory, you can see the 4GB is assigned, processor is 1. So let me try to make it as a 2. And inside the hard drive, you can see our test.vhdx is inside the D drive VM1 folder. So if we try to start this machine right now, right now there is no bootable device inside it so you will see nothing it is not able to boot it is booting from the VHDX and there is no operating system so let me turn it off and try to mount the image we'll go to the settings inside the DVD drive in the image file I will browse and I will put the image of a Windows Server 2019 so this is the image So let me mount it and I will click on apply ok and now let's try to start the machine now I hope it will boot now you can see it is booting from the image file so let me quickly install the operating system it is almost installed and let me connect with the new virtual machine that is VM1 it is connected to the network if you want to make sure that you can go to the command prompt and try to ping the google.com you can see we are able to ping the google and if we go to the properties of ethernet you can see IP address is assigned from the DHCP and we are connected so let me close this and let's try to generalize this machine in order to generalize we have to go to the C drive inside the windows we have a system 32 and inside this we have a sysprep folder here we have a sysprep so you can see enter the system out of the box experience and generalize it and shut down it so I will try to generalize it and you can see process cleanup phase and processing generalize phase sysprep plugin so after generalizing it it will shut down the machine it is turned off now so now we can use this VM VHDX as a template 
if we go to the D drive again and here inside the VM1 we have this test.vhdx let me open this file name extension and you can see this is test.vhdx so let me try to copy this and I will paste it inside the C drive I have created a VM2 folder here and I will paste this vhdx inside this vm2 folder so it is copied here you can see inside the c drive we have vm2 folder and inside that we have test.vhdx so we will try to create a another machine by this template so I have a another commandlet like new vm name vm2 I have already set this commandlet memory 4gb and boot device from the vhd so this time it is C drive VM2 test VHDX it will boot from here and I will connect it with the same switch so let me copy this commandlet and try to create a VM2 with the template so I will paste it here and let's try to run this commandlet now you can see the VM2 is created it is in an off state let's go here and check VM2 is in an off state here so if I try to start this machine and this time it will boot with the existing VHDX that was generalized so let me click on next accept the license term I will put the password and machine has been created so let's try to connect with VM2 you can see we are connected with the internet as well so we have created this machine with the help of our existing VHDX so anytime if you want to create a multiple machines you can create a template generalize the virtual machine as it is here and copy this in a different location where you want to keep your virtual disk and then you can format your commandlet according to that and then create the virtual machine I will save this and let's try to turn on my VM1 as well so here we can see the same experience out of the box accept the license term and put the credentials here so now we are into the VM1 so we are inside the VM1 right now if we run this commandlet to check the SIDs you will get the SID for VM1 and same way if we go and check it with the VM2 we can run the same commandlet here as well inside the command prompt I will run it and now you can compare the SIDs of both the computer if you check with the administrator SID you have a different SID on VM1 and you have a different SID on VM2 and same goes with the default account guest account and the utility account by doing this way you can create a multiple virtual machine in your Hyper-V environment I hope the video was informative let's meet in the next video Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.